heart pounding thrills, gripping, frightening. When Senna starts his engine to rush with us through viscerally exciting staged years of an extraordinary sports career, he accelerates aggressively fast as nearly two decades of tensional races fly by. Yet we never have to fear a crash within this documentary, as probably the assertive but unfathomable personality in Formula One himself leads us with the car onto the winding track, all the while narrating his private experiences with intensely emotional voiceovers. Asif Kapadia's documentary on the unique driver evokes nostalgia, creating a 10-year summary of the sport whilst profiling Senna the alter ego, rather than Ayrton the person. We are given flashes into his ideologies, his purest approach to racing which ultimately led to many critics of his direct approach. His belief in God is shown as the most inspirational factor behind his rise to the top and the director of this ideology to create a heroic spiritualism around Senna. There are no talking heads used to inform us of the racing community's opinion. Instead, this film relies exclusively on historical footage and Senna in and around his car. It still runs in a very traditional documentary format, taking us through his career in chronological order, which is what gives the documentary a broader appeal outside of just racing enthusiasts. Ayrton Senna is a true legend in the world of Formula One. He started 161 races, winning 41 of them, started from the pole position 65 times, and won the world championship three times. An impressive career. His aggressive driving style made him exciting to watch. His tragic death in a nasty crash in the Amola circuit back in 1994 is the last time a driver has died in a Grand Prix event. His career evokes enough drama to create a thrilling motion picture. And that is exactly what has happened here in a Sifs Kapadia's masterpiece. A documentary that thrills devout F1 fans, but also engages people not familiar with this exclusive racing world. Its unique visual style and unpredictable narration helps to create and introduce a character who is counted among the greatest sporting legends of all time. Unlike most documentaries, when various people familiar with the subject talk about their experience, we see archive footage and much more. Asif Kapadia's documentary is narrated through archive pictures and videos which help the audience to relate to the central character. Kapadia used his highlights of Senna's career to define his character and like every great movie, this one needs a villain. And who better than Senna's teammate Alain Prost? Their relationship is central to the documentary's narrative as it portrays one of the greatest rivalries the F1 sport has ever known. The most unforgettable passage of the film for me was the on-car camera footage of Senna during the 1988 Monaco Grand Prix, which shows the ridiculous brilliance and risk-taking of these drivers, particularly Senna. This sequence sums up the entire film, alluding to Senna's character and for me, sells the viewer on his reputation as a defiant prodigy raging against encroaching political games that entrap the sport. The post-1991 portion of the film isn't quite as strong given that it largely leads behind the heart of the film, specifically the drama of the rivalry and political games. However, the exhilarating 1988 sequence comes back to haunt the emerging specter of tragic Williams malfunctions. As a beginner's guide to Ayrton Senna and a particular period of Formula One, this is the perfect starting point. Those hoping for a look beyond the visor will be hard pressed to find much to chew on here. It doesn't pretend to be anything other than a biased, almost saintly account of his career, which is hardly surprising given his family's blessings were sought out even before the director was brought on board. His achievements on the track make this a deserving portrait even though the many books written in the aftermath of his passing may ultimately prove to be more insightful. Ayrton ran out of luck. There is a lot to go, a lot to learn, a lot to do. But I have plenty of time. Pure driving. Pure racing. That makes me happy. Tune in every Friday for new movie videos. Please like, share, and subscribe. Comment down below what other movies you would like me to do videos on. Thank you, Mom, for editing the scripts for my movie essays. I appreciate you. Till next time, thanks for watching. Catch you on the flip side.